In this video, we're going to talk about what we hate about flexible dieting. We are. The things that really piss us off yeah. about people who do flexible dieting, how they do it wrong, what you might be doing wrong, and how to rectify it. Okay. <laughs> Don't like horses, they're too big, mate. They're big horses. They big, mate. I know they are. He reckons he can knock one out. I'd knock one out. Go on the wrong side, if one of them had run at me, I reckon I'd... I don't reckon you could. I'd turn it into a giraffe, I'd uppercut it so hard. <laughs> what a twat. Just hanging out in a... In a what, what would you call the things, like the passages between houses? Alleyways. Alley, Genel or Snicket up north. Genel or Snicket. Never heard of that before my life. Never either of them? No. Who's heard of Genels or Snickets? And I think in Manchester they call them Ginnels. It's a fucking alleyway. Point one, mate. Why do we hate flexible dieting? Um, yeah. For, completely for the point. Because people just eat too much people shit. People eat too much shit. They just take it as a reason to eat shit. <laughs> just because you can, sure. just because you can eat a bit of junk food or food that maybe isn't as high in micronutrients or fibre, doesn't mean you should do it every fucking every day. day. yeah. Like, people take it too far. Like, and sometimes we do, you know, a little bit when, you know, off season or whatever. Yeah. You take it a bit too far and that's fine. But when you're dieting, don't take it too far. Yeah. Like, if you're not trying to diet, you're not trying to lose weight, that's fine. But when you see people who they're trying to actively diet, and I'm like, stop eating chocolate every day. Like, then. the flexibility element is there for when you need it to make yeah. the, the diet easier to stick to around social life, around the odd craving that you have. Yeah. Like, that's in there because it's like, actually, you don't have to just have these single ingredient foods every single day. Like, yeah. like on the odd time, one day, whatever, like, you can swap some things out. And the flexibility element is also, actually, you don't always have to have chicken and broccoli. You can have yeah. You can swap it for something else. You can have a different even evening meal instead of the bowl of oats. You can have some low fat Baby chips or whatever. Like, do you know what I mean? Like that's a flexibility element. Like wh whereas most people now, it's like right, I'm going to save up all my calories so I can stick some Reese's into my fucking oat bowl in the evening. It's not it. It's not it. It's and not the one. It's that, and the people seem to forget as well. Flexible diet and the flexibility comes from having a different number of calories each day as well. Like the amount of people who just stick to the same shit all the time. Mm. Um, yeah, you've got to make sure you hit your fibre, hit your micronutrients, you get plenty of veg, plenty of fruit. Don't sacrifice vegetables and fruit to eat Reese's. If you're just hitting calories, it like, work. Yeah, yeah, you'll lose, yeah, you'll lose weight, right? If you're just hitting calories. But again, realistically, you want to try to do it in the healthiest way possible. Like, you yeah. still want to have a diet rich in fibre, well, the adequate fibre, so you've got good digestion. That you still, for, for health and well-being, you, you get your, your micronutrients in. Whereas if you're just living off convenience foods and junk to hit your calories, how good do you think you're going to feel on that? Probably not, not very. great. What did you do there? Nothing, mate. Just had a piss, you've, got, you've got to have a wee in a bus stop, Charlie. Yeah. Got to have a wee in a bus stop. Point number two is that you're still going to be hungry. Like, you're still going to be hungry. Like, just because you're flexible dieting, you can't take away the fact that you're going to be hungry. You're still actually, you know, on a diet. Yeah, it's still a diet. Like, it's you... nothing magic. Like, people think there's magic, don't they? Oh my god, this flexible diet is amazing. Oh, this amazing. flexible diet is amazing. Eat well, what you want. You don't. Wow. Not really. You don't. You've still got to stick to your calories, which by default means you're going to be under eating. And there's going again, to come a time when you're going to get hungry. You're going to get hungry, especially if you're a flexible diet in the, in the way that we mentioned Just point one. Yeah. If you're eating higher calorie, lower volume foods because you can, yeah. um, the chances are that's not, not going to leave you um, very satiated. No. So you still have to fill up with plenty of veggies, plenty of water, like Dan says, lean proteins fat-free dairy, that kind of thing. Make yeah. sure that you are filling your diet with those as your as your staple, and you will do your best to be less hungry, but at some point you still are gonna have to take the suck on the chin, basically. Yeah, unfortunately, like, even when you use all the hacks, you know, you get load, plenty of veg in, eat loads of protein, you're still gonna come to a point where you're dieting, you're trying to lose body fat, your body is going to be hungry because of that reason. So don't just think that flexible dieting is magic and that it's not gonna, you know, make things, it's not gonna sort of make things ridiculously easy. It makes things a bit easier in terms of social events and stuff, but again, you can't go out to social events every single fucking weekend and expect to lose weight. It's probably not gonna happen. Um, and again, if you do that, you're going to be very, very hungry because mm. you're gonna spend your calories on things like alcohol and takeaway food, uh, which is not great. So anyway, on to the last point. Point number three. Yeah. Point number three is you're gonna have to actually diet. Like, it's going to be difficult. Mm. Like, it's not a case of, oh, I just fancied a bit of that, oh, I just fancied a bit of this. Like, at some point, you're going to have to do the work. No dieting is easy, like realistically. Like the principle of it is is very simple, but it's never easy because you're still going to have to sacrifice social, sacrifice tastier foods, 
sacrifice, takeaways, alcohol, you're still gonna have to make time to, to go to the gym, like to get your steps up, to maybe do more cardio. Yeah. Dieting does fucking suck, like it's shit. Like who would who who wants to give away like their their, their favourite foods? Like of course not. But yeah. at the same time the reason why you're in a position where you need to lose weight or you want to lose weight is because of those choices that you've made. So yep. you're not going to change unless you make some changes to your diet. So stick stick to your stick to your, your diet and then you can get even more flexible yeah, if you want. It's to. one of those things where yeah, you you know, flexible diet, you might be able to have a glass of wine or two every three to four weeks and get away with it at a social event. But when you come if you come to a coach if you've got a coach or you come to doing your own diet and every weekend you're like, Oh, I've got a social event, oh I'm going out to this, I'm going out to that. Well, you're probably not gonna lose any weight then, are you? Like at some point you're gonna have to say no to certain things. Yeah. You're gonna have to say I can't have that, I can't do that. Like I said, flexible diet is great, but some gets to a point where you, you're gonna have to go, I can't eat chocolate. Yeah. Can't have a takeaway. You're gonna have to eat the same boring things most of the time, unfortunately, yeah. because you're trying to lose body fat. That's your goal. If you don't want it enough, then that's fine. Go and eat those foods. Go and do that sort of stuff. As much as the bros, we hate when people go, "Oh, you just don't want it enough." There comes a point when actually yeah. you just don't want it enough. Yeah. And you have to make that decision. Do you want to lose weight, or do you want to eat that nice tasty yeah. food, or drink that nice tasty alcohol? It is a decision, and, I, and and every and every decision that you do have is yours. Yeah. Like nobody's forcing you to do anything. Nobody's forcing you to diet, and equally nobody's forcing you to, to uh, sort of stray from your diet. Like the decision that you have is yours. And what I would encourage is that you think: Is this decision going to get me closer or further away from where I actually want to be? And make the right decision. Like it's not it's not up to anybody else other than yourself. Like nobody's forcing food into your face. No. Like you're the one who says, "Yeah, go on, then I will." Yeah. When somebody says, "Oh, do you want this or do you want exactly. that?" Because you can equally just say, "I'm all." for the time being like I'm good like uh, I'm trying to lose a bit of weight or whatever and people understand because pretty much every single person has tried to lose weight at some point that's what we hate about flexible dieting if you enjoyed that video don't forget to hit subscribe give it a thumbs up give it a like also go and look at the 1800 calorie day yeah if card. you want if you want some ideas for how to fit flexible dieting into a life and how to see what we would eat on 1800 calories a day we did a video on it and there's some expert video in there is some expert video in I'll put a card right up there, right up there. Um, so you can go and watch that have a look at it it's a very very good video if you don't say so myself it is we watched it last night didn't we we did because we like watching ourselves a bit just watch it. It. just keep watching it anyway take those tips run with them do what you will see you next time